time for our final best of five of the night. Myungshik versus Bill. A Protoss versus Zerg. A best of five. And we're going to jump right in to pick some bands for maps. This should be a pretty interesting one. Both players already very successful today. Bjell defeating Maru, knocking him out, and Rogue being knocked out by Myungshik. He's very tough players, and yeah, Myungshik, you know, he's riding that wave of success lately. But he's up against Bjell, and I think Bjell is on another level, even to Rogue at this point. All right, here we go. Probably a ban on Infernal Pools. I hope so. And maybe Vani. Hmm. I actually don't know who banned first, because it looked like Bill did, but that wouldn't make sense. Okay, there's the Infernal Pools ban for um, Young Shake. Okay. And then... Bill's not really the type to ban out. Okay, he bans Cactus Valley, that's fine. There's a lot of weird choke points there. Yeah. Especially with Myungshik's style, I get that. Oh yeah, I, I would hate that map against Protoss. I would I'd definitely try and get rid of that one more than anything else. I think game two is going to be... Oh, no, I thought it was going to be Expedition Lost. Bill loves that map. He wants to save it, maybe for a little bit later. Probably game four, I'd have to say. Yeah, looks like that's what we're going to see. Wait for that confirmation. Coda and Echo alternating here. An expedition Ooh, actually ends up being the last map. Fine. All right. Yo, so got something cooking. Maybe he doesn't like it as much as I thought. Maybe he hates it, I guess. Maybe he hates me. <laughs> Maybe we'll find a new man. <laughs> what have you done to Pio? <laughs> nah, I'm teasing. No, oh. I know he loves me. No, he loves it. He loves everyone. He's a nice He's guy. He's actually a really friendly guy. He's a sweetheart. He's a He's, like, never actually been mad at anybody in his whole life. He probably has, actually. Like, he was looking actually pretty angry against uh, Maru at some points. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, everybody gets mad at Maru sometimes, especially people who interview him. They get pretty pissed. Yeah, well, what are you going to do against someone who doesn't say anything? <laughs> so uh, what were you thinking of what was going through your mind? You know, were you stressed? Uh, how would it go? No, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like trying to make a rock bleed, man. It's not going to happen. Make a rock bleed, I like that. Yeah, that's, a, that's an old one. Um, oh, we'll be jumping into that game soon enough. And man, what a day. It's been a long one. What a day. It's been 70 We've been here for eight and a half hours now. I or, well, we've been here for longer than that, but we've been casting for eight and a half hours. Yeah, i got to count the games that we've we've uh, actually casted so far. Do it. I want to know. It's been a lot of games. 15, uh, 19... 24 so far. 24 games. 24 games so far. That's a lot of games. And one day, how many games do you think I've casted in Korea like over four years? I wonder how many games I've actually cast. Yeah, you should have kept count. Oh, that would be crazy. <laughs> I like. I guess I should go back. <laughs> yeah, go back and count it, man. Go through all the VODs. Oh, man. I bet some of the VODs don't even exist for some of the games I've cast here. All right, let's talk about Myungshik. Guy is super crazy uh, in this matchup. Very aggressive, very all-in oftentimes. Do not let him get away with Blink Stalkers and Immortals or Sentry and Immortal. If he gets those pylons up, you're probably going to die no matter what you did. Yeah, he is looking fantastic. He is, his control is looking amazing. Micro is superb. Force builds just right. He killed uh, he killed Rogue pretty convincingly. Though it, it went to a fifth game, but he it didn't look like he struggled in the games he won. He was very calculated. And he's very dangerous. He's got a lot of all-ins to play with. Now, his opponent here just beat Maru. That's another thing. And something else to keep in mind is uh, someone who's very wise and very knowledgeable just in an interview moments ago predicted that Yo would defeat Myungshik. Uh. Uh, and he seemed very confident in that as well. Just something else to, to point out in this. That's pretty safe. I mean, it is safe to say, yeah. I feel like Yo, yeah, he is just playing so well right now. He's, he's the ace Zerg for CJ. And he did all the heavy lifting in that third league playoffs, as I was mentioned before. He beat the best Terran in the world. You know, he's uh, he is the wrecking ball right now, man. He is destroying everything. Well, we've seen tons of upsets in this tournament already. In fact, some people, as it mostly would argue, Biel versus Mar was somewhat of an upset, although they are much closer in skill and I feel than these two players, and especially when it comes to results. Myungshik is a terrifying opponent right now. Even though Biel is favored here, I bet he's pretty stressed, pretty nervous going into this one. He is very dangerous, Myungshik. By the way, I just want, before, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 no. So many WCS points on the line. If Myungshik advances here and gets the top four, 
This is like probably the closest he's ever been to going to BlizzCon so far in his career. Like, oh, by far. Uh, and this is, a, you know, just one of those players you don't expect to see at the end of the year. We've and never then suddenly. Seen, yeah, we've never seen him play this good before. Yeah. He's doing well in GSL. But let's take all that aside. We'll talk about it later. We're going into game number one on Coda. Subenu Myungshin, Kim Myungshin versus CJ and to Spior, Han Ji Won. In the yellow, Spenu. Player's name matches his ID. It's Myung Shik. That's Legend. No, it's not. Is that Legend? No, it's Sonic. That's Sonic. This is Spenu CEO. Oh. I was like, I noticed he had the same leather jacket as Legend, and I just assumed it was him for a second. It's a Spenu here. jacket. Top left, we do have CJ Biel. I think it doesn't look like Legend at all. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you can say a lot of stuff with that. Ah. Uh, Where's our pizza is what I want to do. Yeah, there. well. Damn it. I think that CEO might have actually vetoed that. I heard a rumor. And he was like, no, no pizza for the fans. Damn. Only pizza for Young Shig. Yeah, well, that's fair enough. He deserves it. Well, this yeah. is uh, this is very tense, man. I, I feel like Young Shig has more of a chance than a lot of people are giving him credit for. No, I, I definitely think he has a chance, Wolf. I, I, I definitely think so. He's very dangerous and he, he's very tricky. He could, he could definitely take a couple of games at least off the all. It's actually the best word I think I've ever heard to describe Myungshik. Dangerous. Yeah, that is the, the word I think of when I, I see Myungshik because he's not like he's not like this titan or anything. He's just this this assassin, this guy that's that's very dangerous that can throw out these, these horrible tricks that will get you. I feel like um and this is a bit aggressive to say, oh I think he's about to get hatch blocked. Ooh. But uh I feel like Myungshik is a type of player who is to a certain extent kind of riding the meta right now because he's so good at what's strong right now. He's so good at these blink stalker control. He's so good at force fields and, and immortals. And because the Swarmos are no longer really part of this uh, matchup, mm. he's kind of, I don't want to call him a patch protoss because I, I think those terms are silly, but obviously in this in this sort of meta, in this sort of patch that we're in right now, I feel like he's, he's you know, his style suits it really well. And that's part of the reason why we're seeing him have so much success in this matchup. You know? Although he always has been pretty dangerous in this matchup, let's be honest. Yeah, even when he was, you know, kind of struggling a lot and, and just throwing out a lot of cheeses and getting really upset at, at losing. He still was dangerous, but he just had those cheeses. Look at that, even taking a, an extractor in the main base of Myungshik. Wow. It's going to be pretty annoying. He might cancel it, but I don't think so. I think he's going to keep it. Yeah, he might as well keep it. Gonna create a little bit of a problem from Young Sheik when he wants to attack. It's gonna be hard for him to get his mothership core out. There we go. Like a Protoss doesn't want to have extra minerals really at this time in the game. So yeah. there's like no real trade-off here. It's actually gonna have to make a zealot with some of those extra minerals. I say extra minerals, uh, of course, referring to the fact that because he doesn't have two gases up. He has 75 extra minerals temporarily here, and he's not losing three probes of mining on the gas, so he has more minerals right now than he would normally. So making the Zealot isn't going to, like, mess with them more than the gas already does. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. And there we go. The zealot out can deal with that extractor. And we do see a second extractor on the natural Boom Young Sheik as well to make up for it. Yeah. Great choice. Which is why sometimes uh, a lot of people would argue that the uh, gas deal isn't always worth it because you lose a drone for it. Yeah. You pay a little bit of money to do that too. It's all right. All right. We are seeing pretty early link speed from uh, Bio. Yeah. Very quick here. It's going to allow him to kind of control the map and try to shut down pylons especially. I feel this is really important. Yeah, take that map control and maybe you can destroy a quick third base as well because I'm sure Youngshik will not be expecting it this early on. There it goes. That third base uh, for Biel, I mean to say. Mm -hmm. yeah, still two gases for now. It's going to go up to three gate from here. No forge just yet. No other tech building either. Youngshik, what is your plan? Well, this overlord in the bottom right is trying to find out right now. Um, can you check and make sure he's seeing the gas on the natural? I assume he has, but uh, 
Or you yeah. at least should assume it's there. Yeah, he certainly has. Okay, and he's going to come up and... I think he wants to find out if there's a, a third gas coming up. Also, he'd love to see this Twilight Council that we see coming up yeah, right now. Yeah, that's a big one right there. But no Forge, so... Hmm... Do we see D2? I don't think so, but it is possible. Let's yeah. check any sort of cheesy type play as possible. Anything is possible. It is a kind of an exposed Twilight there at the same time. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be DTs. I think it's going to be a quick blink. You think it's going to be upgradeless blink? Yeah. Could be a DT drop. Well, maybe so with this Robo coming up. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? A probe moved over there a little bit. Is it? Mm. He's got to deal with these links right now. He's actually not like super oh, focused yeah. on Twilight Council at this moment in time. They're actually doing a lot of damage. Oh, oh he gets, gets in. in. But he's got sentries here. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Where's the tech? He's not making anything. It's okay, there's Blink, okay. finally. Wow, really late Blink. Huh. Mm, what else could this be? Blink plus some Immortals? No upgrades, though. And he's going to have, like, less Immortals and less Gateway units with this type of timing. Yeah, I don't like it without upgrades, you know. I don't like it with plus one, plus two on the way. It's like, not like it's that fast, either, so... It's not that fast. It's not like a, the, the Blink stock a rush that you'd see of maybe three gas or anything like that. Like, where does the extra money go? You know what I mean? Like, it's like a warp prism. Okay, it's going to be a sentry. It might be like a sentry all in with Blink. That's crazy, though. That's, like, so risky. We don't see anybody really commit to doing this as, like, the build. You know what no, I mean? Like, you never don't. see anybody go, like, okay, if this doesn't work, I lose. Yeah, this is an interesting style. Um, see how Bjell handles it. He's got his Ridge Warren up. He's going for plus one lings, actually. No, uh, probably the best choice against this because there is no plus one upgrade from Myungshik, so new Zealots aren't going to be two shotting them. He's about getting them the gates time. And also the sentries as well. Oh, look at this. He's going to force out so many force fields. Oh, no. Not really as many as I thought. Well, he's got the Warpism to lift up, I guess. He didn't really panic there. Yeah. I think this is pretty obvious, right? He's even got a spore. <laughs> He's got a spore where the, where the warp prism is going to go if he goes into the main with this. Oh, wow. A lot of links coming in here, but that's a lot of stalkers behind this. He has to kill that spore. He's going to try to blink into the main and then just force seal. That's what we're going to see here, most likely, right? Looks like it. Just uh -huh. blink into the main from this location? Oh, I think he might just be actually trying to go through the front door. I guess so. I mean, I guess the warp prism gives him options. He's got, he can't really let him go up the ramp, otherwise it gets a little too tricky. Eight roaches have been uh, hatched as well, and he's going to go from every side here. All right, he needs more force fields to protect these units. Force fields, to, or rather pickups to protect those force field makers, the sentries. And look at this, just not enough units. Blink forward. Are we just going to see game from this? That uh, looks like it, man. Young Shake is he's, he's tricky, man. He is. That's... Super tricky. He's actually just going to be able to cut off all reinforcements from the third. Yeah, nothing you can do in this situation. You, you're between production buildings. Yeah. Cannot get enough units together. They're all just getting cut off. A few more force fields will actually seal the deal here. He can even force field the ramp into the main base. He can force field whatever he wants. He can, do <laughs> he can just do that. Yeah, he can do absolutely anything at this point. He wins this game. He wins this game. There's no GG. way. GG. Wow. What an unusual kind of build from Youngshik. But he <laughs> made it happen. Milkshake is just like pray and go, man. That's what, that's what he is sometimes. He is just insane. He makes it happen there, and I guess when you got your CEO sponsor in front of you, the pressure is on and you want to do well. Insane. There's Legend with that same leather jacket. I told you he had the same one, I promise. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. It's a Spenny Coach jacket. Well, this is actually pretty, pretty awesome, man. Kind of liking it. Second map. It's going to be on Vani Research Station. You might see some more of the, uh, the gold mine shenanigans from Bio. He's so effective. Yeah.